Good morning, everybody. Dr. Daniel. Today I'm talking about top drugs for treating migraine, a new study done in 2023. Migraine is an inherited disabling neurologic illness. It's the number one medical problem affecting 26% of women. Migraine for women is more frequent than hypertension, osteoarthritis, diabetes, thyroid diseases, or heart disease. Also, migraine is for many temporarily disabling, causing missed school and work. The International Classification of Headaches states that migraine should last somewhere between 4 to 72 hours. Consider that fact. Three days of nausea, vomiting, severe headache, being in bed, canceling all your plans. Migraine is a top reason for presentation to the emergency department. The use of tryptin medications in 1990 changed the course of acute therapy for migraine. Taken at onset of a migraine headache, one of the tryptins could give a headache-free experience in two hours. Now there are other drugs for treating migraine. With the new Ditton and GPAT, acute treatment drugs were not included in this study. Well, what is the new migraine treatment study? An article published in Medscape Medical News, May 2, 23, entitled Head-to-Head -head Comparison of 25 Migraine Meds Reveals Top Options. This was a study for the American Association of Neurology 2023 Annual Meeting by investigator Dr. Chang, MD, a neurologist at the Mayo Clinic. Despite a wide variety of acute migraine medications that are available, large-scale head-to-head -head comparison of treatment effectiveness from real-world patient <clears throat> experience reports are lacking, Dr. Chang explained. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first study that simultaneously compared multiple acute migraine medications using a big data analysis approach based on real-world patient-provided data, she said. The researchers extracted more than 10 million self-reported migraine attack records from a migraine smartphone app called Migraine Buddy, where users can document whether a treatment was helpful, somewhat helpful, unsure, or help unhelpful. They analyzed 25 acute medications among seven classes, acetaminophen, non-steroidal inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, tryptans, combination analgesics, which are like acetaminophen, aspirin, caffeine, ergotamine drugs, antimetics, and opioids. The newer GPANTS and Dintem medication class medication were not included because of the relatively low numbers of usage when the data was extracted between the years of 2014 and 2020. The final analysis included more than 3.1 million migraine attacks among 278 users globally. The studies used the mean odds ratio to judge the drugs with the highest efficacy. Using ibuprofen as a reference, tryptins, ergotamines, and antiemetics had the highest odds rate of efficacy, followed by opioids, NSAIDs, combination analgesics, and acetaminophen. Individual tryptins with the highest patient report effectiveness were aleotryptin, relpax, zomatryptin, zomeg, and sumatryptin, zacuity. The migraine medication comparative effectiveness analysis based on patient reported outcomes supports and complements the treatment recommendations from national headache societies based on randomized control trials and meta-analysis and strongly supports the use of tryptans, Dr. Chang said. This study sheds light on how different therapeutic drugs compare to each other. And the next type of research I would imagine would be determined if the medication effective for a particular migraine population, even down to individuals with migraine. 
a fellow writer, Dr. Lehan, said, Okay, my comment. In the old days, it was always said that no one ever knew what was the best tryptin to take for migraine acute therapy. There's seven tryptin drugs. Pharmaceutical companies would pay for the studies and no results were ever obtained. So the following is a quote from an article I wrote called Tryptins for Migraine Treatment Years Back, which is on my blog article. This question has never been answered. Imitrex Sumatriptan was the first and has always been the most popular drug and it comes in more, more applications, subcutaneous, two forms of nasal spray, three different sized oral pills, and mixed with, no, mixed with naproxen. The American Academy of Neurology said years ago that injectable subcutaneous six milligram sumatriptan was the best of the triptan group of drugs for treating migraine. That was because subcutaneous sumatriptan gave the highest level in the brain, which was 100 milligrams, versus Sumatriptan orally in the brain level was 30 milligrams. Subcutaneous sumatriptan worked the fastest also in 10 minutes, while oral sumatriptan took 30 minutes. The currently reported study only looked at oral medication for migraine. And the big deal about this study is the result of efficacy using different drugs for migraine, utilizing smartphones, and a migraine app. The final analysis included more than 3.1 million migraine attacks among 278,000 users globally. So it's a great new study. Uh, please pour over it and look at it. I hope it's helpful. Again, it's showing triptans are the best. Thanks for listening. Click on like down there, and I'll see you again on the next talk.